Good morning. Um, I don't know if I had ever shown this on a video before, so I thought I would um, show this cleanup process. I uh, recently had a client who did some work in the sand tray utilizing water and other elements that I have here in the room. And once they're done, um, the water pulls, there was a couple different water pulls that the client had made. I kind of stir up that water, mix it all in to the sand, and this is day three, so I just kind of wanted to show, oh, still stuff in here too that, that the client had put in, a little wood block. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It kind of starts to get clumpy after a few days. Um, I do have a window right here in front of the sand tray purposefully so that the sun can come in and dry it out. Oh, another surprise. And um, that really helps. But what I've realized is it takes about eight days for the sand to completely dry out um, once water has been put in it. So I continually, each day when I come in, I'll go through and scrape. And I don't know if you could see, that's the rake I use. And I'm actually scraping down to the bottom because it gets kind of clumpy like brown sugar um, in the bottom of the sand tray. So, and then I also go across. This is another rake that I use. Um, it's just not as sturdy, but um, does fine detail stuff. So. So, and as you can see, um, especially those of you, those uh, play therapists who work in sand trays, you know, our sand kind of has that fine grit of a glitter. And when water is added, um, oh, here's another surprise. Uh, when water is added, you can still see that, but some of that shine goes away. But you don't have to worry about it because it comes back as soon as the sand dries out. It, another one, it um, comes back to its full original look, really. So. So you never know what you're gonna find in a sand tray. But, so I do this, I'll have to do this each day when I come in, and then my house cleaners, or actually office cleaners that come in here, um, they also know about this process. So on the weekend, if they come in and clean, they'll also go through and um, kind of move the sand around for me also. So there was one thing that happened this time, and that was my sand tray leaked which I've never had happen before, but we had used two bottles of water. So about 32 ounces of water um, actually went into the sand tray, and I think it was just too much water. So one of my things that I'll be doing now with clients is we're gonna limit it to one bottle of water and see if that helps. If my sand tray continues to um, drain, I will be contacting um, Play Therapy Supply, where you know most of us get our sand tray supplies. All right, that was the process, cleaning up a sand tray after there has been a lot of water in it. Have a great weekend, bye.